Hey, how's it going? This is Checho29 speaking, and today we are going to see how to have the Mac cursor, meaning the mouse, that little icon, the arrow, but from Mac on Windows 10 and also on Windows 11. It can also work for Windows 7, 8, and 8.1, but I can't guarantee that. I do know that it works completely for Windows 10 and 11. So, what are we going to do first? We're going to come here to the video description, and I'm going to leave you this link, which is basically a link to my website on how to have the Mac cursor on Windows 10 and 11. Basically, what we're going to do is, click on click here, which will take you directly to the page where we will validate the download of the mouse, or well, the cursor. So here we have this, and what we're going to do is go up to the right where it says download, and here we are going to go directly to this option over here. Sometimes it appears as the third option, sometimes as the second, or sometimes as the fourth, like in this case, which is this one here, macOS, Big Sur. That's the one we're going to download. We click on it, and it automatically tells us that the download is ready. We click on download again, and it will download this over here, which is a .zip file. We simply open it, and extract this folder wherever we want. In this case, I'm going to extract it to a drive here, but you can extract it to the desktop. If you don't have WinRAR, it will open as a folder, so we just extract it. I already have it there. What we are going to do is go to the folder where we left this, where we left the file we just unzipped, which in this case is this one. We go to where it says install. We right click on this file, and here in Windows 11, the install option does not appear. In Windows 10, as soon as you right click, the install option will show up. If you are like me on Windows 11, what you do is click on show more options, and you will see the install option here. Click on install, and it will ask if you want to give permissions. You will see a black screen, but it will ask if you want to give permissions to this program to install. Once we have installed it, and after we give permissions, nothing else will appear. The cursor has already been installed. As you can see, I still have the same cursor as always. I'm actually going to bring it closer so you can visualize it. This cursor here is the one I still have. So, to change it, what we do is go to the start and look for mouse settings here. And this appears, configuration theme related. Go to where it says mouse settings, which is this one here. We click on it and this window will open up, what you see here. So, what are we going to do? We go to where it says additional mouse settings, this option over here. As you can see, on the right, a box with an arrow appears, which means that an external window will open. So, we click there, and this tab opens up. We go right, up to where this menu appears with pointer buttons, pointer options, hardware wheel, and we go to where it says pointers. Here, as you can see, we have this default selected, which is the one I have, but if we click on where it says scheme, or this box, a whole list will appear. Here we select macOS Big Sur, which is basically the Mac cursor, and as you can see, it's this new one here. We simply scroll down a bit more. If you want, we can enable the pointer shadow in case we want it. If not, just leave it as is and click on apply. Pay close attention to my cursor. I'm going to apply it, and here the scheme is remembered. Well, I said yes, and as you can see, I already have the new cursor, which is this one. So now I'm going to accept it, and basically, I have this new one. As you can see, I no longer have the traditional Windows cursor, but I have the new one, the Mac one. So I hope you liked this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. See you bye bye.